Uh, once again, once again, I forge out into the wilderness of questions and try to come up with some kind of answer. It's difficult. I'm old, I'm stoned. It's hard to stay concentrated, but I'll give it my best shot. Okay. What sort of deal would, did you make with the devil? Not only to live this long, but somehow preserve your singing voice. How can I summon up the dark forces of hell to make such a deal myself? I'm only half kidding. I cannot think of any other explanation for the current state of your body, mind, and voice other than satanic intervention. <laughs> oh, God. Dustin. Well, you're a funny guy, man. Well, it, it is kind of inexplicable. I'll give you that. I did everything wrong. No, I didn't do everything wrong. I didn't smoke cigarettes. There, I did something right. And that may be the key difference between me and the other people. I, I did smoke a ton of pot. I still do pot, but I vaporize it because it's better for you. No tar. I don't have an explanation. <laughs> I don't have a, a real excuse for why my, why my voice is the way it is, man. What I figure is, as long as it works, I should use the hell out of it as much as possible. This is going to sound a little corny, um, but I'm an old hippie, and I think music is a lifting force. I think it makes things better, makes people happy. I'm going to give it the best shot I can while the voice is still working. I do have another record coming out, and it, you know, I'm, I'm sort of naturally magnificent anyway, but you know, think, I'm kidding. Uh, I think you're going to like it a lot, and I, if I get to do another one, I will. I met a great guy on Bumble. Bumble? And we've been dating for the last six months. We get along wonderfully, agree on most things, and I'm really falling in love. But he just dropped a bombshell. He loves to hunt. His favorite pastime is to stalk deer in the woods and shoot them. He even told me he wants to travel to Africa one day and kill an elephant. When I told him this was twisted and evil, he points out that I eat meat, and those animals die far worse deaths than anything he does. I don't know, though. Is it wrong to dump a guy a real leg just because we view this one thing very differently? No. Anybody that uh, trophy hunts is not good enough for you, darling. Trophy hunters have got to have a real moral disconnect, okay? They're shooting animals that there aren't that many of. They're shooting them just for the pleasure of being able to say they killed something bigger than them. It's, it's a disgusting thing to do. It's not only unfashionable or improper, it's awful. I personally would like to offer bounties on people who do that and have other people hunt them. Dave, settle a dispute. How many times a week should a married couple in their 30s be having sex? <laughs> I think it should be four or five. My wife says one, maybe two. Who's right? You dummy. Learn how to do it better. She'll want to do it more. Do you know where the fun button is? Where's the fun button, Dave? Follow the legs. They lead right to it. I think your wife is trying to tell you that you need to get better at making love. You may want to consider that possible option. Do you give her head? It's a good question. It's a fair question. If you don't, she should divorce you. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to get in trouble for this one. I say a lot of stuff that I uh, really probably shouldn't, but that's how I feel. Generally, the most common complaint that women make about how men make love is slow the fuck down. Jesus, for fuck's sake, put that thing away and slow the fuck down. Kiss me, for God's sakes. Remember me? I'm your wife. Hi, lips here? These are lips. No, not those lips. These lips. Kiss me. Talk to me. Tell me you love me. Convince me. Make me believe it. If I was a woman, I wouldn't put up with any of this shit. I'll tell you. It'd be real hard to get me in bed. You need to investigate the dynamic. <laughs> There's a wonderfully mystical thing to say. I don't, I don't mean to rag on you here, but if you're any good at it, they want to do it all the time. Girls like sex. You just have to be good at it. If you could talk to your younger self from 50 years ago, 1971, David, what's the one thing you would say to him? What do you think he would say back to you? 
Now, that's the hard part of the question. I know what I would say to myself. Don't do hard drugs. I wasted time. Time is the final currency, not money, not power. I wasted probably 10 years more just in being stoned and not happy stoned like a pothead, desperate stoned like a junkie. It was really hard feeling that badly about myself for that long. It's an enormous relief to feel good about myself now. But I'm a long shot, man. Most of the people who were where I was didn't live. I got a list as long as your arm. Good friends, all dead. Same thing. I, I'd say, be true to yourself. Have fun. Try not to hurt people. Don't do fucking hard drugs, man. Smoke pot. It's like beer and wine. It's okay. It's not going to hurt you. And on that note, it's been great. I hope we get to do this again. Thank <laughs> you.